Hey everyone, Ryan with Best Dog Geek here, and in this video, I'm going to just be showing you the beginnings of the telescope. Not the, well, not really the beginnings, but the progress on the telescope called Hadley, uh, which I have covered before in a short, I think. Um, but this is a telescope that you can 3D print yourself and build yourself using easily available parts. And uh, they may, I'll put a link in the description below where you can go get information about this thing. You need a 3D printer and some filament and a bunch of hardware and a couple mirrors and an eyepiece. And you can get all the hardware, all the optics from the maker of the Hadley uh, for a hundred bucks, which is to me a fantastic deal. So let me show you what I've got and what the progress that we're at. All right, so what you're looking at right here is the actual telescope mount. The mount consists of a 3D printed a base. You can see there's some screw holes in it. I'll talk about that in a minute. And then that base is connected by metal rods to the bearing mount. Uh, the rods are one half inch steel. Uh, these are steel rods. They're solid, not hollow. And then you've got the actual telescope. Now this isn't the entire, the entire thing, but I'm gonna set it in here so you can get an idea of the scope of it. Ha, ha. Um, these are 3D printed bearings and they just, there's no lubrication or anything. They just roll smoothly. Uh, this is so you can adjust the elevation or the uppy downy part. And then you've got this center mount right here, which mounts these tubes. And these are in fact hollow half inch tubes. And the tubes are actually one of the more expensive parts of this project, um, those four or seven tubes that you're looking at there are about, were about $10 a piece. They're nine or $10 a piece. Uh, the 3d, the, the 3d printing, um, if you were to start from scratch, it'll cost you a few hundred dollars. Um, but if you already have a 3d printer and you're all set up, then you're pretty good to go. Uh, this part up here is the focuser and the eyepiece goes right here. And then this, it, uh, lets it turn or not and the focuser goes in and out. And then there's a spider that goes in here that holds a mirror. And that mirror is this guy right here. And so I'm currently printing a new spider because I messed mine up. Um, and then this is the lower telescope assembly right here. And this contains the actual mirror, um, the, the, uh, the, the, the main piece of the, of the telescope. And it's got a pretty neat setup here so that you can collimate or adjust it Basically, these bolts go into captive uh, nylon lock washers that are held captive in here, uh, in this piece. And so these remain stationary, and then you adjust the depth of each of these by turning this knob. It's real simple, works beautifully. I didn't write, really, really understand it until I put it together, but uh, it's pretty cool. And then of course, the, that blue stuff you see there is just uh, blue RTV that I picked up at the store. And that, and this piece, this is the lower telescope assembly. This is the upper telescope, uh, middle telescope assembly, and the lower mounts down here. So uh, I'm going to be mounting that here in a few. And then it's got a, a mirror cover on it here so that when you're storing it, the mirror doesn't get damaged. And you also don't have to worry about light uh, being focused <laughs> places you don't want. So anyway, I've um, got the... Uh, Got that guy printing now, and so that's the uh, spider for the uh, the, uh, the small mirror, I forget what it's called. Anyway, so again, this takes care of the elevation, but what about the azimuth or the left and right? Well, you need some sort of bearing for this to sit on, and it's got those holes in it so you can screw it to a base. And I've got something in the works for that. I'm not gonna say what it is in case it doesn't work out, but um, I came across some scraps that I think will do quite nicely, maybe even too nicely, we'll see. So anyway, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions about the Hadley, please uh, put them in the comments down below. And I'm hoping that I can 3D print a holder for my phone to go on that and uh, actually take some photos of stuff. You can, oh, and this is for mostly the moon, planets, um, some, it'll catch some nebula, things like that. So 
I'm um, hoping to take this out this summer and have a lot of fun with it. Anyway, thanks for watching.